Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how we can create a product and add different components as options, thanks to our plugin Yeet, WooCommerce, Product Addons and Extra Options. I will use as an example one of the products we have in our live demo, where the user can assemble their own computer. For example, they can select the processor, the motherboard, the computer case, among other options. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Perfect guys! Here we are inside the demo I use for the product add-ons videos. In particular, we have this product, a Lenovo computer. But if we notice, there is no information for this product and even the price is set to zero. So what I want to do today is add different set of options to allow the users to customize it, something also known as composite products. In order to achieve this, we will be using our plugin Yeet, WooCommerce, Product Addons and Extra Options. So to begin, let's go over now to our dashboard. Before going to our plugin, one very important thing to have in mind is that in order to add composite products as options, first we need to have those products available in our WooCommerce shop. For our example, I have already created all the products that I need. So let's have a look. If we go over to products, over here, we can see all of the products I have available in my shop. So I will be adding them as options for our main product, the Lenovo computer. For example, this one. As you can see, this product is already available in our shop. So what I will do is add it as an option for our main product. Now we can go back to our dashboard to go to our plugin. So dashboard. From here, I go over to Git and click on product add-ons. First, we need to add a new block. For that, I go over here and click add block. Now I will enter the block name, I will call it Lenovo, and now we're ready to start adding the options. First, I want to add three options to allow the user to select their CPU or processor. So I will begin by clicking here, add options, and here I want to select this one, product, and from here I will be able to configure it. First, for the title, I want to enter here, CPUs slash processors. And now I'm ready to start adding the options. From here, product, I will be able to search for the products I already sell separately in my store, but now I want to add as options for our Lenovo computer. So I click here and I will begin by searching for Intel Core i7, this one. And now for the remaining options, first, for the price, I want to leave this option, use price of linked product. Next, I want to enable the selected by default option. And finally, I will leave the required field disabled. Now I will do the same for our other two options. The only difference is that this time I will not enable the selected by default. So I will click here, add a new option. And again, I will search for our product, this time Intel Core i9. I add it, everything else remains the same. And finally, one more time, I click here on add a new option. And I look for our last option for CPUs and processors, the AMD, here it is. And again, everything else remains the same. So now we're ready to save. Over here, we're able to see the option we have just created. Now I want to have a look at this from our demo. But in order to do that, first we need to associate our options to our main product. For that, we need to go over to rules. And from here, show this block of options in I will change from all products to specific products and categories. Next, from this field, products to include, I will search for our Lenovo computer. 
here we have it. Finally, over here in Show Options 2, I will leave it All Users. Now we can save and save here one more time. Perfect. So now we're ready to go back to the demo to have a look. Okay, we're back inside our product page. And over here, we can see the first option we created, CPUs, processors, and the three products we added. Now, something else we can notice is that the sizes of the options are all different. For example, this one is smaller and this one is bigger. So what I want to show you now is a setting inside our plugin to help us make the options have the same sizes, which can actually help us achieve a cleaner look. For that, let's go back now to our plugin. We are back to our blog, and now what I need to do is go inside our option. For that, I click here on Edit, and from here, I want to go over to Display Settings. Here, I will scroll down over to Options Layout. What I will do is change the number of options per row from 5 to 1, and now I will enable the grid layout. Finally, here in Options Width, I will change it from 100 to 60%. There we go, okay. Now I can save, and let's go back to see the difference. Okay, I will refresh, and here we can see the difference. I definitely like this much more than before. Now, let's continue. We will add two more product options. For that, let's go back now to our plugin. We are back inside our block of options, so let's continue. I will click here, Add Options. And again, I will select Product. This time, for the title, I will enter Motherboards. And over here, I will search for my first product. I will enter this, and here it is. I add it. Again, price, I will leave this option, use price of linked product, and I want to enable selected by default. Let's continue with our next options. So I click here, add a new option, and I will do the same. I will search for the next product. Here it is. Price remains with the same option, but this time I will not enable selected by default. So we continue over here, add a new option, and I will search for our third product, this one right here. Perfect. Now I will save, and once again, I will click here, add options. Same as before, I select product, and this time for the title, I will enter computer case. Perfect. I move on to product and here I will search for this one. Perfect. Here, use price of linked product. And again, I want to enable selected by default. Perfect. Now we'll continue with the second product. I click add a new option over here. I search for the product, this one. And this time I will leave selected by default disable so I can continue with the final option. Over here, I will search for the third product. Okay, we have it here. Everything else remains the same, so we are ready to save. And over here, we can see our three options. Now, before we can see them from the demo, do you recall for our first option, we modified the options layout from the display settings? Well, now we need to do the same for our other two options. For that, I will go here to edit. From here, we go to display settings, scroll down, and from options layout, we change the options per row to one. We enable grid layout and we change the percentage from 100 to 60. There we go. Now I can save. And we will do the same for our third option. Again, we click on Edit. I 
again we save before we go to the demo there is one more thing that i want to show you for that i will go inside this first option in here what i want to do is create a rule so the user has to select a minimum of one option in order to be able to add the product to cart to achieve this we need to go to advanced settings and from here I want to enable this option enable minimum maximum selection rules once I enable it we will see this to proceed to buy the user has to select and over here we are able to choose between a minimum of a maximum of or exactly for our example I will leave it in a minimum of and I want to set one option now we can save and we're ready to go back to the demo to see the results here we are and if I scroll down we are able to see the three options we have created so far now let's have a look at the minimum selection we configured for our first option this one I will remove this option that is selected by default and now I will try to add to cart. If I click here, you can see nothing happens. If I scroll up, we will see this message. Please select an option, which is exactly what we have configured, that the user must select at least one of these options in order to add to cart. Now let's continue. Next, what I want to do is add two checkbox options, one for the protection of the computer and another for the delivery. For that, let's go back to our block of options. From here, I will go over to add options and I will click. And this time I want to select this checkbox. Now for the title, I will enter protect your computer. Perfect. And over here, I will complete the information. For the label, I will enter the following. One year accidental geek squad protection. I will leave the tooltip and description fields empty. I don't want to add an image, but I do want to change the price. Over here, I will select this second option. Increase the main product price. And over here, I will enter a regular cost of $99.99 as a fixed amount. Finally, I will enable the selected by default. Now I can continue with the next option. For that, I click here, add a new option. And again, I will copy the same information for the label and I will just modify the number of years. In this case, two years. Same as before, everything remains the same, but I will again change the price. So I will increase the main product price. Only this time, the regular cost will be $149.99. Perfect. The only difference for this option is that I will not enable the selected by default. Now I can continue with the third option. So I click once again, add a new option. I will copy one more time the label information and again I will change the number of years. In this case, three years. Okay, now I go over to price. I select increase the main product price and this time I will enter $179.99. Now before we save, there is one more thing that I want to do for this option. For that, let's go over to display settings and here I want to enable this option show an image for this add-on once I enable it we will get this field and here I will click upload and we will see our media library this one is the image that I want to insert however if you don't have it yet in your media library all you need to do is go over to upload files and click here, select files. Now let's go back. I will select my image and I will click here, choose image. Now we're ready to save this option. We go here, save. 
Now I will go once again to add options and I click here so we can add our second checkbox. So again, I select here checkbox and for the title, I will enter delivery. Now I will begin with the first option. So in label, I will enter pickup on store and I will only enable this selected by default. Everything else, I will leave it as it is. For this particular option, I don't want to modify the price, so I will leave this option. Product price doesn't change. Now let's continue and I will add a new option. This time for label, I will enter delivery at home. In this case, I do want to add an extra charge. So in price, I will select again, increase the main product price and I will enter here $29.99 as a fixed amount. I will leave the selected by default disabled and now we're ready to save this option as well. Perfect. Now we have already created all of our options, which we can see over here. So now we're ready to go back to the demo to have a look. Okay, I will scroll down so we can find the options we created. Over here, we have protect your computer and we can see the image we uploaded. And we have here delivery. Now, there is one more thing that I would like to add right here between our product options and the checkboxes. Here, I want to add a separator. For that, let's go back to our block of options. One last time, I will click here on add options. And this time I will select this one here, separator from our HTML element. So I click and here we have all of the options to configure it. First, for the style, you will have all of these options to choose from. For this example, I will leave it in simple border. Now the width, I want to change it from 100 to 7%. For the height, I will enter 9. And finally, for the border color, I will select almost a black color, kind of like a dark gray. That will work. Now I can save. Now all we need to do is move our separator from here to here, right in between our product options and our checkbox options. For that, all we need to do is click and drag. And now we drop. I will save here one more time. Perfect. So now we can go back. I will refresh. And here we can see the separator. Now, before we finish, I also want to show you something regarding the price. If you recall at the beginning here, the price was zero, but now it is showing the total price for all of the options that are selected, all of these ones. So if I change any of the options, for example, now I select this one, we can see how the price changes here. Same if I select this one, we can see a different price. Well, guys, this is the final result for our product with all of the options we included to allow the users to customize it. As you can see, this is an amazing way to allow the customers to create their perfect product. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.